all right welcome back to the channel we are doing uh, the shadow game this is part two of my shadow games with quest uh quest is subscribed at the party member tier no main character tier sorry the main character tier where he can actually challenge me to a duel every single month in edison format and uh for this he requested that we use decks that are not s tier or a tier according to my tier list so that is what we are doing and I have a very interesting deck here. I'm not going to say what it is because he doesn't know what I'm playing yet. But if, this is the list that I'm going to be playing. Uh, and yeah, let's let's just let's just get into the game. So let's see. Do I have everything up here? Yeah, I don't need to do anything else. Oh, classic. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I might have some candy I want to eat, but I don't want to eat in the mic and then y'all just get mad at me. So. Oh, that's um, fine. I've been eating this whole time. So, no, I'm, I'm talking about for the, the people listening to this video, because I tend to, when I'm chewing in my room and I'm just not really paying attention, I can be kind of loud. Oh, uh, that's fair. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. There it is. All right. You got me. I mean, honestly, I was getting annoyed. I thought you guys were here to play Yu-Gi-Oh, not RPS. <laughs> well, if like, the one had a better way to decide who goes first, where someone always goes first immediately, that would be nice. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. Well. Not well. No better time like the present. Uh -oh. I'm going to normal summon Cloudy and Turbulence. Can I just draw my battle? This face up card, this face up card is in defense, destroy it. That's what they all do. When you normal summon this card, place one fall counter on it for each Cloudy monster on the field. Boom. So then you can remove a fall counter, special summon. Oh, yes. Smoke ball comes out. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. So I'm just going to declare effect and remove his lone counter. Yep. That is fine. He gets one for the summon. I heard people talking about a fairy frog deck in a Discord server, and they were talking about turbulence with fairy frog stuff going on and cloudy. I will, I will just pass there. Yep. Okay. I can assure you, I'm not on the fairy frog deck. No, I, I, I mean, I don't, I do not. <laughs> I didn't think that you were king. I got you. That would be wild if uh, next turn you're like substitute. I lied. <laughs> the full duple <laughs> combo. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <Just like. laughs> Not the oh no! Off. Frogs are cursed. I can't do it. All right, I want to come on. It's below A tier. I'm running. I'm running Cloudians. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. I can do block, right? Zombie. See what happens. Uh oh! Is it time for the mash? Uh, yeah, that's good. That is good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna declare a sweet old attack on our sweet old ball. Look at that little sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look it, at that it's a cloud. Sperm. It's a cloud. It's a sperm. It's a cloud. <laughs> Tell me that's not a sperm. It does look like a it's sperm. Yellow. I'll give you that. <laughs> that sperm? just means you have yeah. unhealthy sperm. That's just unhealthy. They fear being well. alone and would rather swing and sway in the sky with their friends. See, when all the sperms die, they become <laughs> little smoke balls. Do they, you um they fear being alone? Do you guys know how to report people on Discord? <laughs> <laughs> Not you coughing and asking that question. <laughs> um, <laughs> the fact you that you can barely breathe. What the hell? I'm having that? I'm having like a visceral reaction to being hungry. I need the I need this Chick Fil A to get here. When you normal summon this card, place one fall counter on it for each cloudy monster in the field. You can move two. Oh shit! This is getting out of hand. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna declare effect and remove both counters and. Yeah. Uh, Pop your boy. Yeah, well, I guess we'll put this in a log. Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Let me, get uh, a, let me go a little search. Let me see what's going on in my deck. Oh, that's right. We're still in main phase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we summoned my favorite friend. His name is Kitty Cloud. Ooh. Is it really? Oh, Cirrostratus. No, it's Zero Stratus, but he looks like a cat. It is definitely a cat. They know what they were doing. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna now look at this cloudy and beat down. I'm gonna look go how much for... look how much damage you're about to take. What is that? 17? Yeah, and pass a normal summon Mizuki did that. Okay, you ain't wrong. Is it time to teach him? Uh, maybe. <laughs> 
I don't like the way that sounded. <laughs> I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was looking to give you a little edumacation. Uh, scarier. That one. Oh, they all can't be destroyed by battle. I didn't know correct. that. Correct. Okay, oh, they're so all fucking annoying. Some... Yes. And I see what happens here. This is kind of a deck that proliferates. Like as yeah, the long the longer it goes on, the the harder it's to deal with. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how unfortunate. Here you go, friend. Thank you. Summon. Yep. All right. Do I lose my kitty cloud? No. Kitty cloud, kitty cloud, kitty cloud. Uh. Well, uh. Ah. Brio neck. Bree, Bree. Is there something Do you good? love me? Um. Well, you get priority. I do get priority if the summon is successful. Uh, priority. Uh, well, actually, so it well, didn't matter. Well, let me know. Yeah. So let me target first. Uh, this will be. Oh yeah, because okay, so it was always going to be this one anyway, because I always do odd even from left to right. Yeah, neither one was stopping it, other than the. Well, the Starlight was in your hand. Oh yeah. It's in your hand. All right, so this cloud it's dead in my still hand. Can't die by battle, though. and then Brio's gone because he got bottom list. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So, how do I actually get rid of that thing? What, oh wait. You could, can I? Can uh, I? Get I can't get faster with this. But what can we do? Uh, I mean, I can just attack you. <laughs> I could just. Attack you can beat them up. You can, can just continuously beat over them. All right. Target this thing. Yep. And then I'm going to. Oh no. I don't know what's going on with that little thing, but I don't like the sperm. <laughs> the yellow sperm. Yep, the sperm has to go. Oh, that's an interesting way of doing that. Okay, so uh. we can make a six. Well, the one game you memed on me, so I'm kinda feeling memeish here too. <laughs> I love it. Okay. The master. Yep. Zombie master. Will you be a zombie bastard? 17 slash mill 3. Ooh, spirit barrier. Oh, man. Yep. That's actually wild in this deck. Fall control. Tribute 1, Claudian. Most of your place to be focused. Okay. Hmm. And then it says you can move. An That's not once per turn. No. no, it's not. None of them are. Oh, okay. I see. I see where you're going. I don't like it. It's definitely okay. a road that I don't want to be a part of. Yeah, some might even say it's a starlight road. Mm, I potentially. Know. I really need to figure out how to report. It's like <laughs> well, you ever just need button. something, and it's like <laughs> it's not there when you need it. Yeah, like when you need you're it really bad. I'm trying to figure it out. Hmm. That's a conundrum there. I hope so. So if I... Iron Chain Dragon needs that. He needs a reprint. I don't think this person uh, printed he's never, more than once. I think it's, he's I never think been printed more than once? I, I I don't think he's ever... Let me see. Like that random Morphtronic card that, that I didn't think yeah, was yeah. legal? Also, on the topic of Iron Chain Dragon... Uh, he doesn't come foil, which is annoying. It's one of the Edison cards that people do play, like Spine Gilman and Cold Wave and Substitute. They they need a foil reprint. Yep, I 2000, love that he is just a rare <laughs> because he's actually just insane. Yeah, I mean it is kind of cool that he's a rare for 2010, but in 2023 when every car can be hung yeah. on the Edison thing. I, do, I would like if he be, he just came out ulti for some reason. Like, in a, I don't know, in some pack. Oh, that would be beautiful. Like an Edison special edition pack. They're just like, you know what, fuck it. Here, here's his Everything. Ulti. Yeah. Alright, let's see what you play. What do you this play is Ooh. exactly what I want. Oh, Mama. Mama's here. Mama's here. Oh, do we go funny or do we actually try and do something about this? Uh oh. Not him toying with you. Yeah. See, he's always doing all this elaborate stuff. Meanwhile, I'm over here just with a lone iron chain dragon. <laughs> you 
Look at my threatening ass iron chain dragon. <laughs> they're they're cute little clouds. Come now. They're not that bad. Not yet. Uh, okay, Listen, let's see. He saw he saw that trap card and he knew he 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 knew that he needs to stop this. I'm gonna special summon my friend. I already can tell this is some bullshit. <laughs> he doesn't want to read it. I don't want to read it. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> okay. Well, so far, this doesn't look menacing yet. It's Things like... look okay, but, but he does know... have that quick place that quick play spell that places yes. three counters. Yes, I just know that something is going to go wrong. Um, let's go ahead and be cool. Everybody just calm down. Nope. Uh, I have a commandant of my own. Hmm. That's why I was like, Zara, Zara. We're just gonna activate that. No, no. Um... Now I'm going to normal summon my friend Cloudy and Ghost Fog. Okay. All battle damage to either player from battle involving this monster becomes zero. If this is destroyed by battle strip, your new fall counter is equal to the level of the destroyed of the monster that destroyed it among oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm going to no. enter my battle phase. Yep. And I will attack. That sounds like six counters are coming to your field. Yes. Yes, they are. With no damage. Four. Where do I want the five and six to go? Do I just want to make him 4,000? Why is that a thing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make him. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. He gains 500 for every fog counter on the field. I see. Well, things got out of hand. Just a little bit. Um, so that means it would be better if you put all the fog counters on the other one, then, then right? Uh, yes and no. I do kind of want some on him. I I want there to be some somewhere on the field. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You don't put all your eggs in one basket, basically. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll go four thousand and eight hundred. <clears throat> I think we've arrived at an issue. We've arrived at an issue for sure. A long time ago. <laughs> Um, and I will end my turn. Wow. Okay. So, Stango, earlier you said you had an idea of where I was going. Uh, what did I think you were going to play? When you mentioned Christia, I had a feeling you were going to play, like, the fucking, the fairy, like, draw Tithis deck. Oh. That's no. what I thought you were going to play. Um, I remember watching a History of Yu-Gi-Oh! or Jank. Yu-Gi-Oh! Jank. It was Jank. History of Jank, I think, yep. of a Cloudian yep. episode. So yep. I know a little bit about these fog fuckers. <laughs> yeah, this is how... <laughs> Don't you laugh. Lot... <laughs> They're fog fuckers. <laughs> this is... They're fog this... fuckers. <laughs> this is how a lot of my friends actually met me uh when i was playing Yu-Gi-Oh, like this was the first deck they saw me with and we just put the fear of god into some of them because uh nimbus man is spooky okay uh well please don't uh, out my friend i'm i'm in a bad spot that's how you feel that's really really how you feel yeah, I'm I'm 25 sitting on 25 mil. I'm trying to see if I have any plays. Well, if that that if that was the case, you would you could win. But if that's true, yeah. Remember, losing game one is okay because last time you lost game one, and then you just backdoored me straight to hell where you said I belonged. <laughs> Well, he was saying not you didn't belong there. It was his, it was that fucking power tool dragon's fat ass. <laughs> Damn. His fucking his fucking lumpy rump. Okay, I see the play that I think I have to make. Okay. And it's so weird, but Okay, I would love to see it. Oh. 
Well, uh, think. Did it get chilly in here? It's February, you know. <laughs> it's February, you know. Shut your mouth. Black people don't that... push it in cold. We do not. We do not do that. <laughs> so, question. The that does not stop. <laughs> like, so if I were to flip oppression, right, would oh, that... Oppression will be frozen for this. Yeah, yeah. you, you will not be pay. able to activate or pay, do so anything with anything it. So anything where you have to activate its effect, like a blaze accelerator, like a pressure, okay. uh, anything that activates like that, like ignition-like effects, they are all frozen under cold wave. Okay, then you're good. Things like skill drain still apply, though. Right. Okay. Yep, those are continuous Yeah, traps. so I think the play is... I just I had to just make sure that guy. Okay, so we're going to uh, special summon this by putting this on top. Then I wanted to get cute, but I don't think there's a way. Yeah, I just have to normal summon this. Oh no! Yep. Yep. Okay. Well. Uh. Okay. So this is out there. You can't take battle damage, apparently, which is annoying. But... <laughs> I love Correct. how you say apparently, like, it's like, maybe he, he could be lying. Yeah. It's like, apparently you can't take battle damage. Yeah, like, maybe, I don't know about this, but... Like, maybe you can, maybe you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the jury's still out on that one. No yeah. one really knows. It be what it be. Oh, no. Yep, and we're about to summon the best guy. The best guy in Edison format. Here he goes. Wait a so, minute. Wait a minute. Having him. Like last year, you were shit talking the Drill Warrior. I hate Quick Draw and Drill Warrior, but if I'm going to play a <laughs> shit tier deck, if the rule is we can't play S tier and A tier, then I'm going to play. And Drill Warrior is going to be a part of it. Exactly. <laughs> That's where he belongs. Exactly. In the dumps. Uh, Sorry, in guy, the garbage. My guy's half. You're good. I just like giving you a hard time. It's fun. With control over fairy monster from a battle involving that. Okay, so I can get some damage indirectly though. Nice. 12 yes. So 12. And then let's kill this thing that is menacing. That's fucking 4,000. Yeah. Yes. It was staring at me menacingly and I didn't like it. I mean, he didn't two... even get to do his thing. Yep. And that's until your turn. That's I correct. wanted those rekindlings to do something, but all they were. All that rekindling was was just fucking a just nothing. Ability. Yep. Yep. Literally. It was just staring at you, saying, "I'm I'm gonna do nothing for you. Waste his time." 2023. Yep. Damn. <laughs> damn. Damn. At least I dealt with the big guy. That was scary. You dealt with the 4K guy, and you know I'm gonna be honest. You know I may not be an expert about Cloudians. I I, I don't know how much how much of a comeback <laughs> they can make. Yeah, I don't know much about this guy either. <laughs> if I'm being honest, but. Uh, we're just gonna remove both counters. Yeah. All right. He's gonna get the balls, the yellow balls. Sperms. I love to special summon sperm, and it's your go. All right. Stand by oh days. crap! I didn't kill your counter or your token. Do you want to? I mean, it doesn't yes. Change, yeah, it doesn't change. Anything. Yes, please. Right. Uh, standby phase declare effect. So cold wave is gone. Yeet. Now. Yeah, you're good. All right. Special summon. It will add back dandy of the lions. The dandiest of lions. He's a proud lion. Clear effect. Discard dandelion. Anything? Uh, no, you're good. Okay. Ally of justice. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're we're getting somewhere. Ally of justice is actually good against this thing. Mm. His deck, it seems. It has yeah. Did you? Did you not attack with your warrior? I did not. I bet because I'm I'm I'm. Playing around like Mirror Force, basically, I'm kind of scared. So, mm, makes sense. Makes sense. I understand. Because I call wave you last turn, it was safe to attack. Because call wave is ignorant as hell. Yeah. Like, now, yeah. Now it's just kind of I'm scared. That's fair. Um, in that case, oh, uh, what's happening? Damn, Sauron's um, really good in this deck too. It's like your own Gravekeeper Steel. Yes. Fifteen hundred or less. We'll go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, can't you just grab that guy because he gets fog tokens when he tributes? Isn't that how that guy works? Let's find out. And then 
We will flip summon. Uh, what the hell is that? That one's a new one. Evil. When this card is a battle and sent to the grave, so I'll summon two Cloudian tokens in defense. These tokens cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. Okay, and then this one is the one that gets yeah. uh, place a card for each Cloudian monster on the field. Yep. So it gets two, three, four. Oh, yeah, because all of these. Uh, I will declare. Yep. And I will wow. kill the Cataster. And then I will. You know what? They're all zero zero, right? Your yeah. your tokens. They are. He wants to get in for nine hundred. I do want to get in for nine hundred. I mean, why not? So the the sperm will be attacking. Yeah. And then nine hundred. No one's mo more obviously told me they have mirror force than right now. <laughs> my man, my man has the the little sperm army in full motion here. Dude, they're the spermiest. Mm. This isn't good. No, no it is not. <laughs> this isn't good. The good thing is, three of these monsters can be destroyed by battle. Yes. I wanna go. You just won't be doing any damage for a long time. <laughs> really long, uh, like extremely long. I'm gonna but, be finished my Chick Fil A before you do any more damage. By the way, that's actually wild. I'm getting it right now. It's at the front door. Yu-Gi-Oh actually has some fun and like some really interesting fun like archetypes. Yeah, yeah. When when you don't count the Black Wings and the Christia decks and the Monarchs and the subs and all that stuff, like it. Th this the Claudia deck actually seems like a legitimately fun deck to play in like a janky format type of thing. Oh, I love it. Like it just has uh, no chance in an actual Edison format, which is so oh, no, wild. Oh no, absolutely not. All right. Okay, so I get one counter. Here's Counter King. And he's 3k. Uh really? really? 25. Oh, that's that's too much. Oh, it's 5 500 for uh yes. for each token, yep. right? For each yeah, for each counter on the field. And then we'll go uh, we'll kill the two tokens. Oh, I'm dead. Killed them. I guess that okay. I should have summoned Dandelion there instead of using the effective drill. That was my bad. All right. Well, my eyes. Yeah. My eyes tunnel vit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had to think you about have it for no a second. No idea how fast. What happened? Uh, what you say? You have. Yeah. I had to think about it for a second. I was like, "Yeah, you're you're right. The dandy just summoning dandy would have saved you." Yeah, it would have gave me at least another turn to draw something. I don't know what the something would have been, but drawing it would have been my mission. Yep. My ministry. Uh, okay, so that needs to come out. Uh, just... boom, boom, boom. Baby, turn around and let me see that sexy bunny go bump, bump, bump. Huh. I feel like that card just doesn't do me any good. Oh, man. Uh... <clears throat> I was so glad. I was so glad that the food was actually here. Oh, your food's here? Yes, it is. That was pretty fast. Magic probably takes an hour. Well, you live in the city, so I do. They literally take an hour every time. It's so annoying. Like I have to order Chick Fil A if I want lunch at at twelve. I have to order it at eleven, and it might get here at twelve. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds <laughs> not awful. Might. It's not good. It is not a good thing. But the thing is, what's interesting is that when they say preparing your order, they're serious because it, it never shows up cold. It's not like it's waiting. It's literally. Such a crowded Chick Fil A because, like he said, I live in a city, and that Chick Fil A, I guess, is a popular one. I don't really know anything. Else. I mean, it's it's off the hook twenty four seven, no doubt. Yeah, 
Like, thank God when I was younger, I never worked in fa the fast food industry. Shout outs to people who do that because imagine working there. Couldn't be you? No. Oh, that's interesting. What are you doing <laughs> over there? I am chilling. I am just big chilling. Don't worry about me. Where about you and your feet? Where about you and Kane? All right. Oh, Kane's ain't here yet. What's Kane up to? <laughs> what's yeah? What's Kane up to? Tell Kane I said I said I want some of them. Hmm. Let me take a sip of this milk real quick. <laughs> That's right. You just drank raw milk. Yep. Oh. Man. Uh, the joys of see. being not lactose intolerant. Dude, I love it. it. Means I can eat ice cream too. I love ice cream. You're lactose intolerant, Fraser? No, I'm not. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. We're back in go format, bitch. What did I do? We're back Why did I do format. this? Oh. Yes. That's a card. Okay, he's That's only a card got that eight. does things. He's got one target. Um, I was afraid of Ryko. <laughs> oh. oh, just Ryko, huh? Yeah. I was like, I don't want to set but anything. But you forgot about the magical Ryko. merchant. He has trinkets to sell. He, he does. does. Trinkets to sell. What's in his hands? Is it any? He's got like a ritual dagger, a book, a he does spray paint a lot of can, stuff. and a marble. Yeah, marble. And then it would have it been better like, if he. And then it looks like a, like a squirt, a squirtable. Jar of peanut butter. Not something in his middle hand. It would have been better if he had like pot of greed in one hand and a feather duster in another. Yeah, well, they weren't that creative back then. No, they weren't. When they made their vanilla monsters, they literally made like a vampire book with a knife in it. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. There's a big sink over there and it fucking terrifies me. It should. Okay, so he's going to say activate cold wave. Hmm. It's a little annoying. It's a little annoying. Uh... Hmm. I have a play that I wanted to make, but I can't really quite make it yet. Or I can't make it the way I want it to, which is a little unfortunate. So maybe I'll just settle for less? No, Never settle, you. King. Not you. Don't do that to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll leave right now. Oh, oh, what's going on here? We're just digging some graves. Uh, activate. Uh, I'm not liking this. Is good? Yeah, that's perfect. All right. These two guys come forth. Yup. <coughs> uh, Anything? Think. Okay. Oh. Why is everything a sweet tea? How unfortunate. That's fine. Uh, no, good. thank you. Yeah, summon's fine. Okay. Sorry, all of the drinks turned out to be sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Not a single Dr. Pepper in sight. Oh! No, thank you. Alright, alright, alright. I tried. I tried. You didn't like that how you tried though. Uh effect in grave. Let me take my damage. Yeah. Not fifty-eight. Five hundred. Okay. What do I want? And then we'll go. Huh. Okay, so I can do that. And yeah, I'll just summon the sheep cloud. 
Let's go show my balance everywhere, especially summon two Claudian tokens. Okay, so summon two tokens. Yes. Um, and then you won't take damage because of that field spell. Um. Hmm. One second, sorry. Take your time. Okay. Do I want to kill this thing? And then you get two tokens. I can make a level eight. Oh, sure. Kill that. Alrighty then. Uh, and then affect and grieve. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Pew pew. Move this one here. Okay. Ooh, a colossal fighter. He big. Yeah, he big. He's not subpar fighter. Standby main. Yeah, all good. Normal summon kitty cloud. Yeah. Two, three. Mm -hmm. Declare effect. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'll just. Go there and pass. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, this game started out very scary. Yes. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, stand by main. So what can you can summon back the goblin zombie? You can summon back the goblin zombie. So that tells me... Probably have a plague spreader in hand. Um, I'm going to normal summon Altus. All right, let me read this one. I didn't see this one last game. So, uh, okay, when you normal summon this card, place one flock for each Clonian. Okay, so it discards a random card. Yes. All and right, then. Just roll a die. Yeah, we'll go. One will be closest to your deck. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Four. Ah, yeah. Well, would you look at that? Well, at least I can destroy a monster by battle this turn. <laughs> yep, my tokens get fucked on. Uh, I will pass to you. I don't know what my World of Warcraft guild is on about, but I'm not getting on right now. Okay. Hmm. Uh, target Dandelion? Yep. Boom the field. Yep. I'm just going to uh, Black Rose. Yeah, you just send it to Grave. Mm hmm. And two tokens. Yeet, yeet. We got a little silly with that Black Rose. Cleared out that field. Yeah, he, uh. He got me there. Um. We're this far in, what are the odds you can kill me from 75? 
75 is a tall order. I think a rekindling would probably kill you, though. You're right. Go ahead. Yeah, rekindling would just be very nasty. Uh, target goblins on me? Yeah, you're good. Go wild. There's nothing stopping you. Ooh. Well, that's just... Not my sperm. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. This is the end. Nothing What'd you get? Either. I was I oh, was plague. looking in your grave. Plague spider. Okay. Either. Of course. You. Got some plague. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. All right. It's all on you, King. Monster. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Pass. Doom, 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 uh, doom. 19. 24. You were at 800. Well, can't premature now. Can't <laughs> control or preemie. Oh, that's gross. Don't arm your arm OTK me now. <laughs> what if he does it in a way where he doesn't take battle damage because of like some weird. Yeah, damage? the thing. Yeah. That would be interesting. Turbulence. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It, that probably takes more than five cards, and that's uh, that's all he has in his hand. Probably, yeah. We're gonna summon defense. I'm going to activate fog control tribute to put three counters on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I'm gonna remove. Two counters to special summon. One from deck. One from... Get out here, god dang it. Grave. Yep, yep, yep. He's left with one... Make a link three. Oh god, there oh, is. I wish. Um, we're just gonna... We're gonna get in. Alright, one MST. Or one Bryonic. Yeah, I guess Brio is a card in this format for some reason still, so where are we at? Uh let's uh, guard this, target sanctuary in this sky. Uh chain not effect Valor. Uh, I was gonna say you have Herald of Orange Light, because I I mean that is That is a card. That is a card. But no. Um, I was like, damn, Harold the Warren's like kind of nasty right here. I know, right? That would be cool. Uh, okay. Now that we will <laughs> potentially be back in the driver's seat. Now that we found love, what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. My side deck for this deck is some fucking jank. You hear me? I hope so. Listen, when you were siding the first after game two, there was the only card I saw. Mm. One eye tunnel vision immediately. I mean, it's the only card in my side deck. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the only <laughs> card in there from your side deck. Okay. Your side so. deck's all dusty and old. It it's is. never been touched. I want to know what was my mindset when I was making this side deck because. You made this? I did. This is mine. This is a homebrew. Oh no, Fraser. This was what when, is going on in here? Well, Edison got really boring at one point and I just started doing shit. Like there was a dark period where no one was playing Edison with me anymore. And I was just making random decks. <laughs> that is that's fucking hysterical. Not the boy sitting it. in the corner. Yep. I was uh, making jank. And I'm not afraid to admit it. Also, no. I am twenty two subscribers away from five hundred on the YouTube channel. Twenty two more subscribers. Ooh. Yeah, so if you're not listening, you fucks. <laughs> not you fucks. By the time yeah, they hear I'm... this, by the time they hear this, they will probably I will probably have 500 on the YouTube. Channel. Yeah, but do we give a fuck? No. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm talking to you, fuck. Okay. All right. I'm talking. No, 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 not you. I'm talking to you, the one I'm listening. Nice yes, stuff. you. Don't point to yourself. <laughs> oh. What is uh, happening? You're imploding. Drifter. 
Uh, standby main. Yep. I'm just. Oh, this did not go well. I'll set one and I'll I'll activate the sanctuary. Yep. E you're go. Can you OTK me? No, I'm not oh. trying. This deck is not. I need I need you to stop. I need you to stop trying to. We're playing Jack, will. damn it! This is yeah. Jack. it can't be. It can't you're OTK playing. You. <laughs> you're playing what is essentially just monster mash without Gallus. Yes, but it, I play way too many spells to play. Gallus. I actually can't play Gallus because that's wait no Gallus. He doesn't kill himself if he mills a spell, does he? I don't. I think that's the. Uh, witch I just don't. I just don't think he comes out. Witch kills herself. Oh well, that's bad too though. The fact that he wouldn't yeah. even come, yeah, Gallus. Just, let me see Gallus, the Star Beast. I forget his exact text. I never oh, yeah. Star, really. Until until um, <laughs> the one guy comes out that you can like bounce a card to your hand. Oh um, the Ice King Duran or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, he destroys himself if you reveal something that's not a monster. Wow. What? Yeah. Did you attack? Okay then. No, I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, I, looked, I was looking at Gallus's the uh, Gallus's uh, text. No, I figured I was like, I can take this time to think about really. Do I want to attack a goblin zombie? Now that we found love, with... that's the conundrum <sighs> of Edison format. Do you attack a monster? It's merchant or goblin zombie? Oh, all right. I get an immediate rekindling. That's fine. That's not terrible. It could be worse. It could be worse. Um, I think I'm just going to set one and pass. With this. I keep thinking that Raigeki is just going to get windmill slammed onto the onto well, the board. It would be nice if that card was an Edison. I would Dark Hole should be an Edison format instead of fucking brain control, honestly. It'd be so much more fair for everybody. Dark Hole is not, it isn't nearly as close yeah. of a card. Um, Way I'll less games will be stolen. I'll go battle and swing. Let's try this again. <laughs> Another spell. Uh-oh. Alright, alright. We're piecing things together. Things are getting pieced together. Okay, then. Uh, oh, well, short-lived, but that was fun. Yeah. Maybe I'll do Just a third girls. round. Maybe Just I'll girls. Maybe I'll do a third round. Oh, man. That's not good. <sighs> Can I be honest? Go for it. I, have a sing I don't have a single clue what you should do here. I do. I have actually... <laughs> A ton of different things that I'm thinking about, and they're all very interesting. Uh, okay. But are they naughty? See, that's the thing. They're not that naughty. Naughty. Yeah, the only time that you're having fun in Yu-Gi-Oh is when you're being naughty. I mean, to your opponent. Yep, that's very true. <laughs> What's the name of that character from Courage? Muriel? Oh, uh, the the barber. Is it the barber that's always like, you've been very no. naughty. Naughty. <laughs> I like that guy. It's like, it's like Muriel's cousin or something. Terrifying is what it was. Mm. Mm. It's something with a T. Oh no, he's looking in grave. Well, you've only got one target. I think what I'll do... <laughs> His name, his name is Freaky Fred. Merchant. Holy shit. <laughs> and a monster that I get to a normal monster. You can negate the effect on the server. Okay, so when a monster effect is activated, it activates when a monster's normal summon. So it's the same exact window as uh, pulling a rug, but it's continuous. You can negate the activation. Then the player whose effect activation was negated draws. Ooh. So, this so it's like a dark bribe. You keep your monster. Rug. Oh, okay. It was. Neg I'm thinking of negate and destroy. It definitely doesn't do all that. Okay. Uh huh. 
Interesting. So my effect got negated, but not destroyed. Correct. I didn't think I would actually get to show this card off. Yeah, this is interesting now. Okay. Uh. Hmm. This was the the card I was thinking of activating when you activated Cold Wave Game One. Yes. So because it uses the chain where it says yeah yeah it would not be able to be used uh now what? now what you have two set monsters i don't know what they are it's kind of driving me crazy i kind of want to know what's going on under the hood <laughs> this is what i love about you my curiosity yes you said the same exact thing when we were doing mmp one time you literally typed to somebody you never knew and you're just like, uh, I'm not gonna lie, go. my curiosity so won't stop see me. It. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just so you're able to see him. Yeah, that's important. Okay, okay. Uh let's see. Hmm. So, I want to go this way. So, boom. Okay. Let's see what this is. A sperm. A sperm. Okay. That's a sperm. Uh. Yeah. Excuse me. Is that back row card one sided? That continues uh, drop. I don't believe so. When a monster effect is activated, it activates when a monster is normal summon. It says you can negate the activation. It doesn't say okay. you're the player. So it's definitely, yeah. it's definitely him. This guy's not a tuner. Okay, get it. I was about to say, if he was a tuner, that'd be so annoying. Uh, summon Ally of Justice. Um, and then what do we have? Oh, pass. <laughs> All right. Stand by main. I just uh, finished my food and I got to head out. All right, so let's go. Peace Take out. Take care. Beat him with the clouds quest. I'm going to try. We're in a bad spot right now. Oh, I know. I was <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> I was lying to you, you know, saying like, you know, you can do it. I appreciate <laughs> that. Oh, God. Oh, peace out. It looks out, like it's going to be a rainy day for the clouds. Oh, <laughs> uh, it, it really is. Yep. I'm leaving with that one. You let that sink in. Peace out. Oh, man. So, if that's the case, I go... Uh, uh, nope. Doesn't work. Can I... Man, this is a thinker now. Because I, I do not have... Turn. I have so many different things going through my mind. I don't have an immediate out to this. Hmm. Take my breath away. Don't do do. Don't do do. Don't do do. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Acid Cloud. Well, here's another one I haven't seen before. These things are there's so many of them. <laughs> when you normal summon this guy, plays a fall counter for each cloud you're on the field. Okay, that's the standard effect. You can move to destroy one spell trap. Oh, okay, just period. Destroy one spell trap card. Doesn't even say where. You can be anywhere. Yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to negate the fog counter to oh. draw. Oh, that's cute. That's that's fucking cute. Hmm. I will thin deck. 
And then we will just go battle and 400. And pass. Yep. Oh, well, now I'm curious as to what that is. Curiosity. That was me. Now it is you. Uh, curiosity killed the cat. I am the cat. <laughs> Your curiosity got you mm -hmm. a cataster. What does mine get me? <laughs> I'm over Grizzly just staring at me like, I want to beat that Catastrophe's ass. Mm, mama, you got to calm down. She do got to calm down. She's water. You I mean... I don't like water. Oh, God. You don't like anybody. That's true. Uh, well, Blacks. <laughs> Catastrophe. I didn't want to be the... I didn't want to make the joke. <laughs> I'm a little... Just, just a, a hair too light-complected for that one. <laughs> don't worry. I got it for, for the both of us. Oh, I, I, I got to keep trying to dig. Is that, you're activating that trap card again? Yes. Right, oh, no. Okay, so then does my monster keep its effect? It does, in this case, because it didn't actually get to, uh... Ouch. It didn't actually get to negate. How unfortunate. Um, well... Mama, no! Mm -hmm. All right. So we Mama need... said, "Knock him out, or you better not come out." Um. Damn. Your go. Man, my friend Trevor has just been hanging in there this whole time. Oh, yeah. Elysees. What a trooper. He goes hard. Oh. Hard. Yep. Uh, goodbye, you. All right. Perfect. Uh, so both. Yours is five hundred. Chain link one fire dog. Chain link two mother grizzly. Yep, I've got to do something here. Um, I'll just special summon the sheep cloud. Let's put this my battle. Gets the two tokens. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, my thighs. All right, well, let me at least get my guy out my deck first before I decide what I'm actually going to do here. Zoo, I want zoo kill. Z thing. Oh. Huh. Causes so many problems though once this shit starts getting started and rolling and all that, but if I don't attack Yeah, we will we'll do this. Okay. Ah. Um I'll bottomless that. This guy and his bottomless trap holes. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Katasta, you served well. Come Take on. My Damn. Away. 
That one annoying guy that will get two counters and pop Makataster, I'm scared of him. Uh, well. Damn. Makataster mm. putting in work? Yeah, he is. Kataster is a snail. And it I wonder if he has the same oh no, he doesn't have the same face forwards and backwards. No. I was, I was looking at the back part of him, but it's actually a little different. Is he a snail? Well, you see like the back part, like where his tail would be kinda? That looks like a snail to me. It kind of mm. looks like a I don't know. I mean it's a machine for one, so it's Well, right. It's just because the the legs. Yes. Snails don't typically have legs. But I think the bot, if you look at, okay, so look at Kataster and imagine that it doesn't have legs for a second. It looks exactly like a snail. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Like he you, looks, go ahead. He looks like, uh, this is not even close to where you were going with it. He looks like a Zeo cycle I, from Power Rangers Zeo. Yeah, I definitely can see some Power Rangers. I mean, of course, it being a mecha looking thing. Right. I wonder, I wonder how big Kataster is. Like, I wonder, I wonder if Kataster is small or if it's gigantic. Uh, if I remember reading all of the hidden arsenal like story, like the dual terminal the stories, stuff. I believe, yeah, the Kataster is a small piece of the army. Okay. And I think there's Katasters, if that makes sense. I mean, they're machines, so it's probably, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like tons of them, right? Right. I will say this your deck is very resilient. It's like, built that way. Yeah, and it's cool that fairy decks tend to have that. Like, it's hard to do damage to you. You're at 7500. Uh, the other games, you you were pretty high, too, for a very long time. Yeah, but once it uh, once it turns... Yeah. It okay. turns. It's starting to fall apart a bit. Yeah. Man. All right. Here is everyone's I... favorite card. Yeah, go off. All right. Can I? I, mean, I can't do anything too big, but uh, okay. So that seems really busted. Hmm. That does seem busted. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna go normal effect. Yep. Uh, hmm. Target here would be. I want to do goblin. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what my do to be removed from play, but yeah, we're gonna target goblin zombies. Is that good? Yeah, you're good. Okay, I've I've got nothing. All right, I'm gonna put a card on top. Declare effect. This dude. This gets banished. Let's get something without priority. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, to grave bouncy monster. Uh-oh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this isn't OTK yet. Uh, so that's 4,000 plus 23. 4,000 plus 23, 63. And if I add 11 to it, that's 74. You'd be at 100. That's funny. You would be at... You also have your, your monster face down. Yes. So, maybe... If it's merchant, you're a hundred over. Yeah, I think I actually. <laughs> it's worse. It's dandy. <laughs> uh, so I'll attack everything, but Goblin Zombie will go last, just in case you mill something crazy okay. like Neko Main King or something. Uh, eighteen hundred. This should be game. It sure is. A, I did not. A, I did not imagine that I was going to OTK you from like seventy five hundred, 
And at first, all I was going to do initially was I was going to... Oh, wait. I didn't mean to vanish it face down. I'll put it. Uh, let me put this in my hand. Okay. So at first, I was just going to go for like a simple Caius play. And mm -hmm. I was going to tribute to Dandelion for Caius. And I started looking at my hand and realizing, wait a second. Cold Wave plus Brio was really ignorant because if I bounce your cards, like let's say I don't kill you, I can just bounce these two spell and traps and you can't reset them. Yeah. And they're that, just kind of yeah, and that would be a win condition in itself because you're you'd be virtually defenseless unless you do something crazy like Black Rose Me or something out of nowhere, which I don't know. I really don't know can't. All, all the things that your deck can do, but I know that it gains tempo, and once it starts gaining tempo, like game one, I just got steamrolled. Oh, you got really unlucky game one. Let's see, what was my next card? It wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Oh, no, it wouldn't have mattered. I did sign in Vortex, and I, I was realizing, okay, this deck definitely does a lot. When the monsters start to accumulate, like game one, it just got so yeah. out of hand. I was uh, sitting on oh these. God. Yeah. Nimbus Man, he looks so scary. Like, if I saw that in real life, there'd be no so these cards are really funny and they're really cute and like one of the first times i ever remember like falling in love with them was Yu-Gi-Oh gx one of the one of the characters from one of the other schools or whatever was playing these and i if i remember correctly he summons nimbus man and he just gets really big because of the counters in the show yeah, and they can do all that, that it sense. was it was terrifying to look at and i was like yo this deck seems cracked yeah i i i will say i didn't normally like gx but one thing i did like about it was the, obviously the three schools like uh slifer red obelisk blue raw yellow but then also the decks that people play were just so cool back then like hydro get on and that whole thing in bastion's deck like that was really dope. yeah the dinosaur package and stuff like that uh like you said the cloudians were really cool zex having cyber dragon and not it's like zane um Zane yeah. having like cyber dragons and stuff like that was really dope uh what was his name cyrus and he had with his roids roids yep so there was there were multiple instances where i liked everyone's cards the only person's cards i really hated was Jaden's mainly because he was just too happy go lucky for me i was not he's just oh man the the manga was slightly different for him he was very I mean, he's still sacky, but you know, he gets he gets his ass beat a lot. Yeah, and the show he just wins all the time, and it's always like, like you said, it's pretty sacky when it happens, and it made me annoyed. I'm like, okay, I want to see a main character that actually has to face losing and learning from his losses, as opposed to always finding the exact out to everything. Like, sure, I don't want him to lose all his games because that would just be ridiculous. But they made right. him win all the time, and it was really obnoxious. And then. Apparently, America, we didn't even get like a big part of the story with the U Bell stuff. Right. We got. Um, so back then, I was watching it on Cartoon Network, mm -hmm. and it would come on, I believe, at five in the morning. So Inuyasha ends and goes straight into either GX or Hamtaro. Yeah, if I it went straight into know. Hamtaro, it goes 5 30 is GX, and that's where the new episodes would come on. And I would have to like DVR them or something. And then there was a whole season after the U Bell stuff was solved that we just never got. Damn. Yeah. So we got to see Honest and some other stuff. Oh, Card Trooper, I believe. Jaden finally started playing Card Trooper. And we just never saw that entire season because they mm -hmm. said, well, we're selling 5D's product. Put 5D's on. Yeah. It's interesting. Card Trooper came out in his pack as well in real life right i think that yes Jaden had a pack and then uh was it aster phoenix maybe had the other pack yes uh there were multiple Jaden yuki packs but there was an aster pack a zane pack a, and a chaz pack mm -hmm. and Jaden had yeah, Carson three was ultra believe. rare and very i think it was yes. 90 bucks at one point and then aster phoenix had the destiny hero malicious and d draw yes those yeah. were like the three biggest things if i think those were the only three things people really cared about that was, in those yeah. packs and that made those cards extremely expensive because the packs weren't that good on their own and they were 
they were really cheap too. Uh, I I want to say I remember them being like two ninety nine or something because they were smaller than a normal pack. But yeah, so GX had a lot of variants, not a lot of actually good decks. Yeah, yeah, that's how uh, I feel too. I feel like a lot of, I feel like the GX era of Yu Gi Oh had a lot of concepts that they never finished. Right. The uh, what 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 was it that people were really excited about for when Lynx came out? Uh, Blasting Fuse or Senate Switch or whatever yeah. that whole column thing everybody was super yeah. excited for um i remember when simo was doing the first progression series or whatever they talked to, they always talk about how like the g air the gx era packs are just terrible all the way through yeah because they are pretty bad like honestly yeah opening one box of each you're never going to get anything like you'll never be able to build anything real like unless you get insanely lucky on that pack simulator and I I go back to my memories from like back then, and I'm like, yeah, those those uh those sneak peeks were just bad, <laughs> unless you were insane and you pulled an honest or something. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, that era of Yu Gi Oh. Like again, I didn't like the protagonist of GX, and then I remember all the packs being very mid, and you would get like one maybe two cards out of each set that were kind of meta relevant, but the rest of it would just be like, oh, this is such a, this is just such right. a sad time. And you go, that's what Konami really wasn't trying to sell product as hard as they are now. Like, so they released that ban list today that just wiped out <laughs> every relevant deck basically. And like, not completely, but it made them really, really new. It neutered the hell out of them. Right. And that's it turned because, it go ahead. away from the, Z the tier zero format. That's yes. what it did. Yes, like it neutered the shit out of those decks. And so that's good for them because now they're about to sell those new dinosaurs coming up and like all the other product and stuff that like oh, yeah. Hypernova that came out that honestly Hypernova already has some really broken cards in it. But now like Kashtira or Kashtira, however you say it, that deck, oh, that deck is untouched, that. right? Like I don't think they touched anything in that deck. So No, because I don't think they can because the deck isn't even out entirely. Yeah, like they could touch um, Fenrir because Fenrir was already out, but like that would be kind of annoying because there's never been a pure cash terror deck in the U.S. yet. Right. So you're gonna have, you'll you know, punish a deck that you know you've only got yet. one card for. Right. It's not like with Fire Fist uh, Rooster. Yep. You know, but man, yeah, what Rooster a time! Got, Rooster got cucked. <laughs> So, do you remember uh, the AR, the first ARG in ARG Dallas? Uh, okay, I was there. I don't remember. I don't remember Rooster as much because Dragon Rules were played. Right. So I sold my my Infernity deck. I had a Max Rarity Infernity deck. Uh, well, at least on the Infernity side. So I sold it. I got like three hundred bucks, mm -hmm. and then I built Fire Fist. And not very long after that, I think Rooster got demolished yeah and i was like oh well that sucks yeah i actually remember playing against billy break he was using that at ycs toronto i want to say that year 2013 oh and, god and uh i was playing spellbooks which is a terrible mat like spellbooks just really beat fire fist because of fate just, i just faded all his cards away slowly but he opened up the full rooster combo right like he did the full thing with the spirit and search and everything with follow-up and I just slowly whittled away all of his cards. And by the end of the game, both games, because I think it just was like 2-0, by the end of both games, he just had nothing. He's like, yeah, this this matchup is just abysmal. I was like, yeah, this is not, it is not the fantasy. So so think about, think about that. You said he went full rooster combo. Yep. And back then, that consists of ending on what? Uh, the synchro? Two synchros and an exceed? I don't think, I don't. Or I guess exceeds were out because 2013. Yeah, they're out. Um, I don't remember what he ended on. I remember it was aggressive as hell. Though I remember thinking to myself, even though this is a good matchup, I might lose because he got to go first, and he might just be able to rush me down before I can fade away all his cards. But my hand was really strong. I think that where it went wrong for him is my hand was like reveal three spell books, summon priestess. God, and that is worst case scenario. Because now you don't really get to aggress me the way you want because I, I come out popping your shit. Like, she just comes out frame <laughs> one 
and you're like activate i think at one point he activated fiendish chain and i activated spell book of wisdom called trap so now she's unaffected now i can banish wisdom pop your monster uh then i can activate eternity get back wisdom so it just, it just got really out of hand and she attacked over another guy. Then Blue Boy came out, and then Secrets and Copy Master was seeking Copy Secrets with Master. Search Fate, activate the Field Spell, set Fate Pass. Next turn he tries to do Rooster Combo. I Fate him. He can't do anything. Then he passes. Spellbook Tower activates, shuffles back Fate, and then it just he just scoops. It was just like really. And then uh, I think that was oh wait, it's coming back to me a little bit better now. That was a tournament where I played Spellbook of World. The oh, World, World, World of, of Prophecy, Prophecy or whatever. Yes, yes, World of Prophecy. And I was playing Temperance. That's what it was. Yes, World I, Turbo. I opened up, okay. I ended up opening like Temperance, because all you need is Temperance and a Spellbook that you could play. Literally, that's, yes. that's basically the combo. And I opened up, so like my hand was, it was definitely broken. It was like Temperance, Secrets, and probably wisdom or something or power. And I summoned it, activated, you know, secrets, master copy, all that stuff. Then went into world, world effect, get back the two spellbooks from grave, reveal four, nuke the field. And that's what, yeah, that sounds more accurate. Cause I was testing against that deck. Cause that deck was known about before YCS Toronto that year. And everybody was, some people thought it was going to be like insane. Like, I guess Billy thought it, I, he was one of the people who I guess thought it was really good. Because uh, he decided to play for YCS, but a lot of people thought it was going to be insane. But I remember thinking to myself, this deck can't beat Spellbooks. And Spellbooks also have a decent Dragon Ruler matchup. It wasn't it wasn't like completely one-sided. In fact, I actually had to play Patrick Hoban in that uh, top cut. He eliminated me because of Return from Different Oof. Dimension twice. I won game one, and then he returned to me games two and three. And it literally killed me twice. I was like, wow, I can't believe that just happened. That was really annoying. But that card was just insane back then. It really was. Return was so obnoxious, and uh, yeah, spell books. There was always a soft, soft spot in my heart. I'm glad I got to actually top the tournament with spell books. It's one of my favorite decks, especially once it got neutered. I didn't like it with spell book of uh, judgment, but once that went away and it became world of prophecy dot deck, I really like world of prophecy conceptually. Like it's a titanial. Uh, if you were the whole nuking the field thing was really dope. Spellbook of Life with that was really powerful. Uh, because he gets his effect when you do that. And he's God. also huge. He also was secret rare, so he looked really cool. The, yeah. the art on him just looks nice. It does. That card looks amazing. And Temperance finally got some use. I forget if I played, I'm sure I have a deck profile out there somewhere. I forget if I played Priestess or not. I don't remember how I actually played her, but I know I played like triple temp triple temperance uh in world. And world was just absolutely nuts. But if you drew him, I don't think the deck had a single way to do anything with him. If I'm not mistaken, if I drew him, he was bad. God, good times, huh? Yeah, definitely good times. Definitely good times. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this shadow game with our main character tier from Patreon quest. And we could do this again next month, but uh, next month I want to play. I want to play some frogs. I'm, I might, you know what I might do? There's a Go lot ahead. of Mimi frog decks and they're not, they're, they're not S tier because they're not like the junk hero frog decks. There's like the fairy, there's like the fairy one that people were playing in the, the latest tournament. And there's a, there's a couple of around ones. There's a fairy one that literally plays Claudians though. Uh, so oh. I might tamper with either that one or the one that plays sphere of chaos and the chaos end master. Um, but there's a couple of like, cool engines that you could splice in there so it'll be i'll be using a really powerful engine but then the other cards won't just be like you know Monarch, absolutely Monarch, bananas. Monarch, yeah miracle fusion and all that stuff like it'll be a little bit more tame but yeah i was thinking about something like that but i don't really have time to like build it completely and all that so i just did this because i was like you do a lot of mastering the pupil yes and i figured maybe a break from a hardcore yes. edison would be refreshing no it's fine and i actually enjoyed these games went much 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 slower than the, the games i'm used to playing edison now that are like edison has gotten so fast it's gotten so fast like, even though you still get your two turns or whatever to see cards like gold sarcophagus it is still sped up and the games we play today like i spent about six or seven turns under the thumb of a 
<laughs> power tool dragon. <laughs> power t- and it's really cool though because that's what a boss monster should be able to do is like live on the field and actually be a boss. Like he did all this searching. He searched for like three different equipped things. And then eventually I dealt with him. And like then it was like a reversal type of situation, which is really cool because that's kind of how show duels go. That's kind of how when Konami choreographs those duels at nationals. Like they're always oh, very, those. they're always very back and forth, and it's kind of like the underdog because I'm the underdog, I'm on the back foot, I'm just setting monsters and being attacked, and then like I'm dusting the wing mage powers and stuff to survive, and like only taking three hundred as opposed to twenty eight. Like there's a lot going on. So You're having I, to do some anime type bullshit. Yeah, it was definitely some anime shit, and so I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, as opposed to just like, oh, well, there's the brain control and the miracle fusion and the kites yep. and the you know all of the. The, the mainstays, the dark arm dragons and all that stuff. I was like, all right, well, yeah. So, all right, guys, well, I will catch you in the next one. Uh, see you around quest. You have a good night. Enjoy your canes. And Thank I you, am sir. going to you go too. hop in the shower and get ready for some more Yu-Gi-Oh content. All right. Peace. Peace.